OK, so for this problem, again, we have 7 raised to the 9x equals 15. We want to be able to see, obviously, first, if we can use 1 to 1 properties of exponents. But I can't um, take a 7 and a 15 and raise them, uh, <clears throat> and, and take a base and raise them to the power that's going to give me both of those values. So therefore, by using 1 to 1 properties, I want to look into using uh, the 1 to 1 properties for logarithms. And to do that, I'm going to take the log of both sides. But when taking the log of both sides, what you need to do is determine what base you're going to take of your logarithms. And when using the base of logarithms, we want to look at the, or using the 1 1 property logarithms, we want to remember our properties of logarithms. That if I take the same base of my value and that's raised to an exponent, that's just going to equal my exponent. Therefore, if I choose base 7 for my logarithm, because remember, it has to be the same base on both sides, right? Base b of b, base b, base 7, and base 7. If I take log base 7 of 7 raised to the 9x, that's just going to leave me with 9x equals log of 15, I'm sorry, log base 7 of 15. Then I need to take that value and divide 9 on both sides. So therefore, x equals, now how are you going to evaluate log base 7 of 15? Well, what you can do for that is use your, um, you can use your change of base. And you can use change of base by using natural logarithms or um, a common log in your calculator and then dividing that value by 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take ln of 15 divided by ln of 7. Then I'm going to take that value and divide it by 9. Therefore, approximately, x is going to equal 1.55 as I round it to the 100th digit. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you apply your one-to-one -one property of logarithms. Thanks.